Sunday, August 2nd. Marsha and I came up here, I think Monday. I went on a little two day hike and then I got to work for three days. And this is the section I started last week. And uh, I actually put a top coat on. So that's, they call it two minus. This has got the little, little rocks and sand. And I normally don't do that, but it does give it the finished look. So, uh, and I did want to make a comment that I made a, I made a note or made a statement that I'm, I could fill in the ditches later. These are deep. They're four to six inches. I'm sorry, four to six feet. And um, maybe even deeper. I wouldn't really fill them in. What I would do is take all these rocks and push them in and, um, and make the ditch only two feet or collapse it if I don't need it. I'm, I'm assuming I'll need it from runoff, but I don't, I may not. Um, I'll find out. So this is very exciting for me because uh, now I'm entering the, uh, the original 100 acres I bought. And I took the time to stake out where I'm going. Um, you'll see great stakes with yellow surveyor's tape. And going to be entering the woods right about here. That's the plan. Um, and then make a straight shot around this corner. The reason for doing this is it would be a straighter road, which is good. Plus, this has been a traditionally very wet area. Um, a lot of water is here. I would have to dig all this two or three feet of this surface material it may only be two feet get rid of it and bring in some material if i couldn't bring enough clay so i'm just going to start fresh and go through the woods this is normally a very wet area um but it's been dry here for weeks so hopefully we'll get some rain soon to change it so here's the corner and you can see more grade sticks up here this is where i'll be coming out and by the way the grade stakes are 14 feet apart that's the width of the road I need to cut, when I cut trees, about six to eight feet wider so I can bring the excavator on the outside of the stakes. So ideally, I bring the excavator on the outside of the stakes right along here. And put my ditch in, gives me about two feet from the edge of the road to the ditch. So for example, these trees here, that one and the couple behind it, I would probably take out. And then everything along the tree line here will be cut if it's within six feet. In fact, you see orange uh, tape in there. Surveyor's tape. That's the original uh, surveyor survey of the 100 acres. This is where we're going. In fact, uh, you can see the Kubota right there. Um, that's the plan. There's probably a, a dozen of trees that I got to take out at least right now. So it's going to take me a couple days. I'm going to take them out. Um, I'm going to chip all the branches and then it's all hardwood. So I got more hardwood for burning. So it's been an awesome time. And I'll uh, be back next week to hit it again. Adios.